If you have to patch a hardwood floor, you could remove the damaged floorboard with one of these multi-tools, take a half an hour in the process and burn through a couple of expensive blades, but there's a better way. David Hornstein of Lexington, Massachusetts has figured out that making that initial cut in the hardwood floor is a heck of a lot faster if you use a biscuit joiner. Here's how it works. The first thing we do is we screw a block to the scrap piece, the piece that we're going to replace so that the holes are not in the good floor. And this block has been cut at a right angle so it's going to serve as my guide. Now I need a center line down the flooring that I can use to align the center line on the biscuit joiner. Once I've got that center line, the next and most critical part of this process is to adjust the depth of the cut on the biscuit joiner so that the width of the cut, the width of the kerf you're going to make, matches the width of the flooring. In this case, it's two and a quarter inches. I've made my adjustments. I've set this at a zero biscuit. I've fine-tuned it with the fine-tuning screw, and I'm ready to go. Put the biscuit joiner in place. Register against the block, which means I'm square. Line it up on my center line. Turn it on. Plunge. Come back. That's all there is to it. Now I still have to use an oscillating multi-tool to finish the cut on either end, but that's going to be a lot faster. If you don't have a multi-tool, use a hammer and chisel. Great tip, David. Thanks for sending that in.